typical Friday afternoon ball out job. So we've got the water turned off, undone the cap off there, took the screw out. So this will just pull off. And we'll take this off here to expose the cartridge. Some of them are a bit tight. Inside there, so hook clamps. Otherwise, it won't see right. And we'll try and match it up nine times out of ten. We'll have the same matching one in here. So, what I managed to do is match it with a where are we? CL3. So it's just the depth. So you've got to get the depth the same, the height the same, the top of here the same, otherwise it throws the actual handle of the tap out. So I've just trial fitted it and it works. So it's literally just like for like, pop that one in. Shroud on the top, give it a little nip up, not too tight, and make sure because they're only quarter turn, make sure that you get it right in the middle. Same as that one. So I can go another turn on that spline. Put it back on, tighten it up, and do the other one. So we've got a client with a dri constant dripping head. Um, so what we can do is take the, the shower off and we've got a replacement valve, so we're gonna put the new valve in it and go from there. So we've got the water off already. Completely drain it down. So we've taken the handles off, took the shroud off from out the outside, and then hopefully if we unscrew this, we should get to the shower and we can unbolt the, the valve out and just put the new one in. If it ever screws, here we go. Or maybe that's what holds it in. We'll have, we'll have a look. So we've Unslacking this off, so now this is like a retaining bolt. So if we undo this, and there's the valve there. So that should just pull straight out. Let's have a look. So yeah, so with a little persuasion and a good head full of water, that valve just comes straight out. So we've got the replacement valve here. So that's the old one. And we've got the replacement one here hot to the left as you can see cold to the right so we'll replace it in with that and hopefully that should do the trick to put some silicon paste on there silicon paste so we've got the valve back in got the valve back in so now we've got to put this security plate on the front Tighten that in and it'll push the valve home as it needs to go. So on the front of the new valve, we just gotta take this head bit off and replace it back onto the new one so that the spindles will sit straight back into it. So now we put the shroud back on all the way in. Because now it's sealed, we can basically build it back up and then turn the water on because we know these bits will come off without any water coming out if we need to 
just alter them. And you've got the four prongs in there, and then measure up with that. So we can put that in at this setting first, because then we can always alter it when the shower's back up and running. So I've had a bit of a bit of a nightmare with this. So it turns out the new cartridge that was supplied doesn't let hot water out, no matter how, how much you alter it. So it's basically the new cartridge is faulty. So what I've done is, these are the old, old O-rings. So because it was passing, I took the old cartridge, took the old O-rings off, put the new O-rings off this cartridge onto the old one, because we know the old cartridge worked, refitted it, and all was well. So it just turns out that the new one that the client had bought wasn't working. Typical Friday afternoon, ball out job. Put, go to do a shower for someone, they supplied the shower valve, take it all out, put the new one in, doesn't work, hot's not working. So you have to take it all back out, put the old one back in, that one's now leaking. Oh, how annoying. The client's now ordered a new valve to be fitted when it arrives. Just really pisses you off.